Shows and Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, DrewTube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Whatever they try to curse you with is going to end up manifesting in their reality. So have absolutely no worries. Let's get right into it. All right. Whatever these people try to curse you with is going to end up manifesting in their reality. So it doesn't matter if they try to speak bad on to you. It doesn't matter if they try to speak negative into your life. It doesn't matter if they try to speak disease into your life. What type of person tries to speak disease into another person's life? We got demons out here, y'all. If you're battling something, if there's something in your family history, if you're fighting something and people keep coming around you and speaking it and you keep hearing it, those people have demons on them, y'all. And what you have to do is know that you are already healed. What you have to do is know that you are the generational breakage, okay, where others may have been affected by the generational curse and they need to hear something better instead of something worse, okay? You are the breaker to the generational curse because you believe in something better instead of something worse, all right, people may make fun of the way knowledge comes. People may make fun of the way knowledge enters the realm, but we ain't worried about that. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. You are the generational breakage, okay? You are breaking the curse, all right? That's why they have to come around you and speak the curse. That's why they have to come around you and speak the negativity, okay? They have to come around you, and try to speak the disease. They have to try to come around you and speak the downfall because you are the rise. You are the risen. You are rising up. Okay. You are the new. You are the greater. You are the better. You are the next generation. They have to try to curse you because you're the predecessor. They have to try to curse you because you are the new for the new and beyond. You are the new for the beginning and beyond. You are the new for the infinite and beyond. You are the predecessor. Okay? So what has to happen to you is what people see in you, they have to try to destroy because they don't want you to deploy. They don't want more of you. So what they have to do is try to destroy OK, they have to try to take away how you feel about yourself. They have to try to destroy how you feel about yourself. They have to try to ruin how you feel about you because you feel good about yourself and they don't want you to do that. So what their aim is, is they have to try to curse you because they have to try to get your mind filled with so much negativity. They have to try to get your your spirit filled with so much negativity that you begin to believe the negativity so that you manifest the negativity. All right. They want bad things to, to pop up in your existence. They want bad things to manifest in your existence. They don't want you to have a, a, a happy life. They don't want you to have a healthy life. So what they'll try to do is they'll try to speak bad things on you. And when people keep walking up and speaking negative things in your ear, when people keep walking up and, 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 and talking about negative things so you can hear it, know that that's an evil spirit. Know that that's not a, that's not a positive person. That is a negative person. That is a person with a very negative, evil, spiteful, demonic spirit okay when people come near you a person who is of light a person who is of positivity a person who who destroys negativity a person who is a warrior against darkness okay a a, 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 a person who is is happy with 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 joy a person who is happy and excited with the joy of the lord all right, when people come around you and they speak darkness, when people come around you when they speak negativity, that's not a child of God. I don't care how many church sermons they've heard. I don't care how many church sessions they've attended. When people come around you and they speak death, that is not a child of God, okay? When people come around you and they speak negativity, that is not a child of God. When people come around you and they speak misfortune, they speak poverty, they speak death, they speak illness, they speak sickness, like it's natural. 
That is not a child of God. When people don't believe in healing, when people don't believe in fixing, when people don't believe in making better, that is not a child of God. Okay? You have to believe in health. You have to believe in wealth. You have to believe in the betterment of yourself and others to be a child of God. Okay, you have to believe in, in, in being able to heal yourself. You have to believe in being able to heal others. You have to believe in being able to make somebody's life better. You have to believe in being able to make your life better. That is a child of God. That is somebody who is on the right vibration. That is somebody who believes in health. That is somebody who who believes in the wellness of themselves and others. Okay, you can't be walking around here speaking sickness and speaking negativity and speaking bad spells and speaking bad health onto others and try to be a child of God. It doesn't work. It doesn't resonate. It doesn't mix. It's like oil and water. Okay, you can't be speaking on the negative and try to get on to the positive. You can't be having harboring, illuminating negativity and try to attract positivity. You can't try to get down with the positive and try to be negative. It doesn't work. Okay, what you're doing, you can't be with the positive and, and with the negative at the same time. All right, so what you have to do is anybody that's speaking negative, anybody who's speaking ill health, anybody who's trying to, to, to speak curses on to you, anybody who's trying to speak negativity on to you, you have to be wearful of that. All right. I'm not telling you to I'm not telling you to ignore signs. I'm not telling you I'm not telling you to ignore bad health. All right. I'm not telling you to ignore uh, when somebody is trying to tell you to go get help. I'm not trying to tell you that. But what I'm telling you is if you hear somebody speaking negative, if you hear somebody speaking ill health, if you hear somebody speaking something bad instead of something good, that's not a good spirit. Okay, and you know a good spirit when you hear one. All right, you know a positive spirit when you hear one. All right, you can't listen to somebody that's negative. If it's negative and it's if it's here to destroy you, if it's here to wish bad on you, if it's here to wish negative on you, then you don't want to listen to that because what people don't understand is your mind is powerful. You can fix yourself. You can fix certain diseases. You can fix certain things about your life that you don't like. But what people want you to do is people just want you to accept it. If something bad is going on, people just want you to accept it. If something negative is happening, people just want you to accept it. They don't want you to be able to heal yourself. They don't want you to be able to fix your situation. They don't want to be able, they don't want you to be able to realize the power within yourself. They want you to be helpless. They want you to be reaching your hand out. They want you to be focusing on something outside of yourself instead of focusing on something inside yourself. All right. They don't want you to focus on the good within you. They don't want you to be able to manifest a good feeling within you. They don't want you to try to manifest health within you, when you can manifest health within you, all right? You don't have to have these diseases. You can manifest health within you. People try to walk up to you and speak negative to you. People try to walk up and speak death on you because they can see that you walk in light. They can see that you walk in righteousness. They can see that you walk in power and they want to try to speak negativity on you because they see that you walk in the light and here they come with their darkness being used by the enemy. So what are you going to do? Are you going to use your mind to, to backtrack and believe the enemy, something outside of yourself? Or are you going to believe the power within yourself? Are you going to believe the God within yourself? Okay, are you going to be strong? Because the Bible says, I am strong. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. So if you are strong, if you are strong within yourself, if you are strong with God within you, you don't have to worry about anything outside yourself. You don't have to be bothered by anything outside yourself. What you have to realize is whatever is outside of you is weak and whatever is in you is strong because greater it is in me than he that is in the world. Okay, greater is in it, greater is he that is in me. And if he that is in you, then you are strong. You don't have to worry about what's outside of you because what's outside of you is weak. It's weak. Okay, what's inside of you is strong. Okay, you have God in you, and that's strong. Okay, you have God, you have the power of God in you, that strength. Anything outside of you is weak. It's weak, okay? Anything outside of you is weak. Don't pay attention to it. Don't worry about it. Don't let it bother you. Anything outside of you is weak. Don't let it affect you, okay? It's all types of things trying to affect you that's on the outside, but it's weak. People will see 
that you're strong. People will see that you're building your mindset. People will see that you're not letting the outside affect you. And here they come trying to bring negativity to you because they see you're battling. Okay, I had an old head once. He said, I see you fighting. I see you battling. I see you. He, he was telling me I didn't I wasn't even aware of what he was talking about. I wasn't even hip to it. He was telling me that I was fighting in the spiritual realm and I wasn't even there yet. He was telling me I was knocking doors down and I wasn't even standing in front of him yet, knocking on the door. He was letting me know. Okay, people see you. People that are good, people that are aware, people that are of God, they see you. They already know what time it is. All right? They already know what time you're on. Okay, why you think them nice people, them one out of every one million nice people keep coming up to you? How you doing, baby? Hello, young man. Hello, young woman. How are you today? How you doing, grandbaby? How you doing, child? Why you think they keep coming up to you like that? Out of every line they could have went to, why you think they came to you? Hello, how are you? Can you help me? They know you'll help them. They know you'll bless them. They know you got the, the righteous spirit on you. They know you got the good spirit on you. They know you got the good presence on you. They know you got the righteous presence on you. All right, they see what you're walking in. They see what, what they see what's floating around you. They see you got the good energy on you. All right, they know. They already they already feel it. All right, just like Jackson 5, you can feel it. All right, you can feel it. You can feel it. When you come around these people, they feel the energy. They know what time it is, okay? They know what type of time you're on. All these people on demon time, you don't think they feel a different vibration when you come around? All these people on demon time, you don't think they sense the presence of God when you come around? All these people on demon time, you don't think they sense a righteous spirit when you come around? You know they do. And they know they do too. That's why they treat you different. That's why they look at you different. That's why you're different. You got a different spirit on you. All right? So whatever they try to curse you with, it's going to end up manifesting in their reality. Have no worries. These people can't harm you. These people can't hurt you. They can't get to you. Whatever they try to cast on you, whatever they try to put on you, whatever they try to manifest in your reality, it's going to boomerang right back to them. All the negativity, all the curses, all the evil, all the negativity spoken, all the diseases spoken, all the spells casted. Do they know who they're dealing with? Do they know what God you serve? No. What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these individuals? They and they call and these are the these are the people that have the nerve to say somebody else is crazy, but they're casting spells on somebody that believes in God. They're trying to wish negativity on somebody that believes in God. They had they have no real belief, and because you have a real belief, the major ultimate 100% complete gaslighting is that you believe in the mysterious God. You believe in God. They don't understand God, okay? That's the ultimate gaslight is that you believe in God and they don't understand how it works. So they walk around not knowing how it works and end up getting uh, uh, abducted by the enemy, end up getting pulled in by the enemy. The enemy ends up getting hold of them. They don't know what God feels like. They don't know what it feels like to have God in your life, to have his spirit on you, to have his presence within your presence, to have his being within your being. All right. They don't know what it is to remain in him and have him remain in you. They don't know what that is. They don't know what that feels like. Chosen ones do. Whatever these people try to curse you with is going to end up manifesting in their reality. So have absolutely no worries. Okay, you're good. Whatever they try to curse you with, they try to curse you with bad health, that's what they're going to get. They try to curse you with brokenness, that's what they're going to get. They try to curse you with loneliness, that's what they're going to get. They try to curse you with, with whatever uh, negative thing that they could think of, that's what they're going to get. All right. You can't wish something bad on someone without it happening to you. So whatever they try to curse you with, they're going to get it times two. Don't allow these people to be to bother you. All right. You have to know that God reigns supreme in your life. You are protected and never neglected. OK, you tried to upset me. All right. Oh, oh, you did upset me. All right. OK. All right. Whatever they try to whatever they try to put up, whether it's stress whether it's bad health, whether it's, it's disease, whether it's a, a tormented mind, they're going to get that back. If they upset you, don't get upset too bad because they're going to you're wasting your time getting upset over them because they're going to get that back. Whatever negativity, whatever uh, frustration, whatever uh, uh, horror, whatever torment, loss of time, they're going to get that back. 
So all you have to do is know that whatever they try to curse you with is going to end up manifesting in their reality. So have no worries. Don't you worry. Don't you cry. Don't you get upset. Whatever they try to give you is what they're going to get. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to thank you for for. Uh, tuning into this video. Thank you all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank everybody for watching. All right. Shout out to all the new subscribers. All right. Ha welcome. Have fun. Thank you for everybody blowing up the comment section. Thank you for everybody uh, hitting the like button so we can reach a wider audience so we can grow. All right. Thank you for everybody letting that uh, ad run so the channel can benefit off of that monetarily. So thank you, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. This has been another DrewTube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. All right. A big thank you from my heart. I've been thanking you all a lot, and I'm not going to stop. I'll see you all in the very next video.